Hey guys, so I thought it would be appropriate since it's the end of the summer to do the most worn summer items tag video. So I'm sure you've seen plenty of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and not even talk about it. So first thing, most worn nail polish. Like I, To be honest, I haven't really worn too much nail polish, but the nail polish that I wear the most is the Butter London Trout Pout Nail Polish. It's just a really pretty summer color. It's like a peachy pink, bright, fun summer color. So yeah, that's definitely one that I wear the most. Uh, number two, most worn hair product. This one was actually very easy. Um, the Dove Style Care Nourishing Curls Whipped Cream Mousse, which is if you have curly wavy hair, you need to put something in your hair so the curls actually curl and not frizz up. I love this. If you've ever done the Paul Mitchell Styling Mousse, this is a dupe for that. Um, it's a moisturizing mousse, essentially. And what it used to look like, for a while I thought that this one went out of stock because it used to look like this, Dove Curl and Sculpt Defining Mousse. And for the longest time, you couldn't find it being sold anywhere. And I thought, oh my god, did they get rid of it? I love this. Like, you know. And then they came out with this Dove Style Care Line, and that's when they kind of like re-brought it out and uh, just put it in a new package. It does smell different too, so I have a feeling it's a little bit different. However, the, the results are the same. Um, and it smells like, took me a while to figure it out, but it smells like bananas, which is kind of weird. If you're used to the Dove products, it doesn't smell like the normal Dove, Dove products. But it's very, very good. It's only like $5, and it is totally a dupe for the Paul Mitchell Styling Mousse. I don't remember off the top of my head what it's called. I have it back there, but don't waste your money on that. This is the same thing. Uh, three, most worn bag. So I could have shown you a bag, but to be honest, my most worn bag is really just my wallet. And I bought this a while ago, so it's really kind of gross and dirty because it's essentially my purse. Because it was just easier for me to carry around a wallet than it is for me to carry around a bag with coaching and stuff. So I got the Vera Bradley one with the little handle, so it just literally goes around my hand like this. It holds my keys. It's perfect. Uh, I like it because it also holds my cell phone. My cell phone's over there. So it pretty much holds everything I need. My keys, my cell phone, and my wallet. And the cell phone sits right in here perfectly, and I just like it. It's, you know, easy. So it's just convenient. Yes, I do wear purses, but to be honest, I use this as an overall purse. But if I were to take a purse, obviously, if it fits, this just goes right in there. Uh, most worn shoes. Mine aren't really that fun, but they're my most worn shoes, and they are the Sanuk flip-flops, and they're the blue striped ones, and that's what they look like. I actually bought these this summer, and they actually look like they've been worn a lot. <laughs> they've already looked pretty worn, and they're really not that old, but super comfortable. I love them. They're cute. Uh, most worn accessory. So, that would be what is in this box, which is... I'll show you. It's actually pretty cool. I got it off a little black bag, if you know what that is. And what it is, it's a watch like this, just a regular wrist watch like this. But then it also comes with different color wristbands. And what you do is you just take this, push, and it pops out. And you put it in, and then you just snap it into the any color wrist uh, watch, wristband that you want. So I thought that when I saw that online, I thought that was really cool, except on the site, I was kind of confused on how it worked because they didn't really show the pictures of how, you know, that it snapped out and stuff, but it's actually very, very cool. I really like it. I like that you can change it up and it's essentially the same watch. And it was actually a pretty good deal because as you can see on here, it's retailed for $95. And if you know about Little Black Bag, you pay $50 and you get this plus other items. And I got, I think I got two or three other items with this. So it was a very good deal. I love it. If they still have it on the site, I would recommend getting it. It's, it's cool. And it's it's a little bit bigger. I mean, this one I have on is my running watch, um, but they are about the same, maybe a little bulkier. Let's see, most worn clothing item. So I actually had to pull this out of the dryer because it was in the dryer, but it is my bathing suit cover up. Um, I could have shown something boring, like to be honest, my most worn item would probably be like a sports bra or something or some sort of running thing. I wore that pretty much a lot of the summer. But I also wore this a lot, which is my beach cover-up. It's a dress 
by Love Lucy Love and it, I actually used to, I wore it one time and dried it in the dryer without thinking and it shrank it to the point where it's not a dress anymore on me. It's more like a long shirt. So I was really upset by that because I really, really loved it. But then I was like, you know what, I can use it as a beach cover up. If my butt hangs out a little bit, that's okay. But this is what it looks like. And yeah, definitely my most worn clothing item. One of a lot this summer. Most worn foundation, which is actually surprising that this is my most worn foundation is actually the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. And over the summer, I don't like really, especially not filming and stuff, um, I don't like wearing heavy stuff, especially if I know I'm gonna like sweat maybe a little bit. So I actually went out and got this during the beginning of the summer in medium tan, it is darker. It works for me now, but it's not going to work at all once I lose my tan. Um, so it will strictly just be a summer foundation, um, but I like it because it's easy. Um, like I said, I'm not really big into the wearing too much foundation, especially if it's really, really hot out. And in Maryland, it's very, very humid and I'm oily, so I get shiny. So it's just easier for me to just wear powder over the summer. So this is what I've been wearing. And the, like I've said in previous videos, yes, I think it's overhyped not on YouTube but in the regular population because I don't think it covers very well however I wasn't really looking for a lot of coverage this summer so it actually worked out perfect it's a more light summer thing for me I'm wearing it right now to show you guys and you can still see the redness of my pimples did I cake it on No, but you know anyway moving on uh, most worn blush and bronzer so I'm going to show you a blush and a bronzer um, if you've seen videos of me, you'll know that this is my most worn blush. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Exposed. It is just a real subtle blush. I love it. It's a pinky, mauve brown blush. I'm wearing it now. It's very, very subtle. It's the thing, um, if you're going for a natural look, it's the thing I don't really want people to know I'm wearing blush, and I just think it's really pretty. Uh, most worn bronzer is the Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer in the High Dive. So what it looks like it's their pressed bronzer and it is darker um i am wearing it also now but i just like it it's matte i mean it does look like it maybe has a tiny tiny bit of flex in it of some sort but at the same time when it goes on it doesn't look like that and i also like it because it's a little bit darker that it works for my skin right now um most worn lip product is the mac pro longwear lip glass and infant, infinitely likable which is what it looks like it's on my lips now it's the pro long wear so some people would say that it's sticky and it is sticky going on but once it war once it warms up on your lips it's not sticky but at the same time those kind of products don't bother me stickiness doesn't bother me it just means it's going to stay on longer i'm fine with that it may bother you but that kind of stuff doesn't bother me so i tend to like these the ones that are sticky just because it stays on better so I really like this. It's pretty much pigmented like a lipstick plus having a lip gloss over top of it. So I like it because it's kind of two in one. Um, and like I said, it is at first a little hard to spread because it's thicker, but the temperature of your lips warms it up and makes it work a lot better. And like I said, right now it doesn't feel sticky at all to me, but it may still feel sticky to you. I don't notice that kind of stuff. So uh, let's see, most worn mascara, favorite waterproof mascara ever. I don't, I've never worn waterproof until I got this one because especially drugstore, I've heard that they're very, very drying. I was always taught that when I used to work at Ulta, um, but high-end ones tend to be better for your lashes because they're not going to dry them out. So Urban Decay came out with a Cannonball Ultra Waterproof Mascara. When I worked there, I got one for free and since then I've loved it. And what I really like about it, which doesn't make sense to me when I first saw it, is it actually has fibers in it, which when I first saw it, I was like, ew, what is this? It looks like someone's lashes are in the mascara. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can see at the tip that it's like chunky looking. That's the fibers. And you wouldn't think that a waterproof mascara could have fibers in it because then I don't feel like it could be waterproof. But I swear to you, this stuff is waterproof. Um, I went on a trip and I forgot to bring something to wash the waterproof mascara off with. And so I was stuck with it on because it would not come off. It actually lasted for three days before it completely came off. Pretty surprising to me because, I mean, I was getting in the ocean and the pool. And also washing my face with a cleanser. And it was still, I mean, it came off a little bit with the cleansers because cleansers are made to break that down. But it also stayed on. I was pretty surprised at how well this mascara stays on. 
and I actually also like it. I have it on my lashes now. I feel like it does add a little bit of the length, um, and I was just pretty impressed with how well it stays. You don't have to wear, and I swear I got in the pool and everything, black was not running down my face or anything. I would highly recommend this. Most worn eyeshadow. I thought about it and I was like, to be honest, the most worn eyeshadow for me is the MAC Paint Pot in Bear Study. And I have it on my lids now. It's just easy. It was quick for me that I would just put it on and go. Yes, you can use this as a base, but I wear it strictly as a shadow. I can't use these as bases. They crease on me. I still need to wear prime. If I don't wear primer underneath of them, they crease on me. So, yes, you can use this as a base. It's just not a base for me. Um, but I really like the color. Which actually, if you want to see a dupe for that, is the new Maybelline came out limited edition 24 hour tattoo. Um, pretty much the same thing as the MAC paint pots. And they came out with a limited edition one that's called Barely Beige, which is actually very similar in color. It is a little bit different swatch, but it's literally right next to each other. They look the same to me. They may look a little different on camera, but um, I'm going to have to show you what they look like right next to each other. And I've, I've said this before that the um, MAC ones definitely feel a lot more creamy, especially when you're rubbing your finger in there. Um, it definitely feels a lot more creamy. Um, but this is the MAC one and this is the Maybelline one. So the Maybelline one actually looks a little bit more um, solid in color. But I would definitely say that the MAC one's a little more yellow based and this one's a little more pink based. So that is the difference. They are very, very similar though, similar though, but I'm glad they're not exactly the same because I bought this thinking that they are similar, but I wanted to buy it anyway just to see. Um, so I'm glad that they are somewhat different so that I don't have the same thing twice. All right, so I wanted to do, also do the rub test. I almost forgot. Yes, my washcloth is disgusting. I need to wash it. But I wanted to do the rub test on to see which if the MAC and the Maybelline staying power is the same. Because I think I remember doing this before and they aren't. So I wanted to show you. So pretty much I'm just going to rub. Okay, so they're not. The MAC one was wiped downwards like this right here. And then, or the Maybelline one, I don't know if I said Maybelline or MAC. Maybelline one was right here, it was swiped up and down, and the MAC one was swiped up and down. Now, as you can see that it looks like the MAC one staying power is a little bit better. And I have noticed that with the darker shade ones of the Maybelline, that they tend to fade or like fall off almost. So, that's probably why it does that. I thought this was appropriate since it's the end of the summer, and I hope you enjoy that guys, and I'll talk to you later.